This is a Peltier cooler, or thermoelectric cooler. This particular one is the TEC-1-12709. It is rated at 80 watts at 12 volts. How this system works is when voltage is applied, one side cools down and one side heats up and creates a temperature differential. It can only have a max temperature differential, so one side has to be at least I'm not sure on the numbers, but 20 to 30 degrees cooler approximately to provide the actual cooling. So if you can get, theoretically, if you can get one side to the hot side to 10 degrees, it could be as cold as negative 20 or 30 degrees on the opposite side, in theory, is how it works. So it does require a large amount of cooling to work, though. My initial reason for purchasing this was to below zero cool or close to zero cool a video card. So I had a video card like this. I made a cold plate to apply in between the GPU and the cooler. And I'd apply the cooler there and then I got some extra long screws and mounted the stock heatsink back on the video card. Now this sort of works. Uh, I was able to achieve as low as two or three degrees centigrade on idle temperatures on the GPU, but under load it would heat soak and go back up to even above the best cooling this thing could provide. So I'd be hitting 70, 80 C, 90 C, and then I'd have to shut down really quick. So there are multiple versions of these things you can find on eBay or Amazon relatively easy. There are, um, for the 40 mil size. This is 40 mil by 40 mil. I'm pretty you need the TEC 1-127 now. Of the 40 mil ones, there are three different versions that I've seen and tinkered with. This one is the 09. It's rated at 80 watts at 12 volts and there's a 12 that's rated at 95 watts at 12 volts. You can actually volt these up to as much as 15 volts and it goes to something like 130 to 140 watts worth of cooling. Uh, I've never tried this because I'm running it off of a computer power supply, but apparently they're good up to 15 volts. All right, here it is. This is the Peltier cooler strapped into my water cooling loop. This was done mostly for testing purposes and I have yet to finalize it as seeing by the zap straps. I have a old server heatsink sandwiched in between two 80 mil fans that have just zip tied onto it. And you can see the Peltier cooler there sandwiched in between that and a water block that I have spliced into my liquid cooling loop for my CPU. Now when I first did initial tests on this it was dropping the CPU temperatures by five degrees or so and under idle it would be a few degrees below ambient temperature. I figured this was the best way to do it without having to insulate around the CPU for condensation or frost. Now for right now, I have it running off of a independent power supply. I've kind of hacked and stripped together to provide the 12 volts. I do have a moderately decent power supply. I just didn't really feel like tagging it onto my CPU currently. My long-term plans are to attempt to strap a EVO 212 on the outside of this case and have the pipes connect the Peltier to that in a push-pull configuration. As it stands, I think I've been tinkering with this for a while and I think I've actually slightly fried this particular cooler by leaving it running overnight multiple times without any water flow through it, so I think the temperature differ differential was exceeded and overheated the thing a little bit. But now I will show you a video of the current results after this has been running for approximately five or six months.